cross-country skiing, a highly technical sport that requires endurance, strength and speed. For many athletes, it's taken them years to reach the standard required to compete at Beijing 2022. For Jose Cabeza, it's taken him less than two. Two years in which he's gone from skiing novice to Olympic athlete. It's like uh, I have a, a good training capacity because of triathlon, uh, mm -hmm. the sport uh, I came from. I think it was the, I had the right mindset and uh, I work really hard. Cross-country skiing events have been part of every Winter Olympics since the first Games back in 1924. Norway and Sweden have been the most successful nations in that time, but unlike the Scandinavian countries, Portugal's climate and location not really conducive to winter sports. The lack of skiing facilities in the country has been a major challenge for Jose, but one which he's managed to overcome, and he says his example may well inspire others. I hope so, and uh, not not just about to take the the, um, the winter sport, but uh, to teach everyone it's possible to make changes uh, in your career, even if you are later uh, in, in your age, because I'm 25 years old, of course I'm young, but uh, nobody starts a new sport to try to go to the Olympics at the uh, 23, almost 24 when I started. Now the Winter Olympics certainly has a rich tradition of athletes from less traditional nations taking part. The Jamaican bobsleigh team for the 1988 Calgary Games, testament to that. And while the novelty of a Portuguese cross-country skier may well turn some heads, Jose Cabeza's journey from ski novice to Winter Olympian may well have a longer lasting legacy in inspiring those back home to begin their own Olympic dream.